We are so proud to have her with us. Please put your hands together for Dato Amiga. Dipersilakan. Dato Amiga. happening from nomination onwards look at the way Tian Chua's nomination wrongly rejected wrongly rejected and I have to disclose I was involved in the case and that's on appeal so I'll say no more than that but those were the facts then we have fixing of the election date in the middle of the week they had no right to do that they had no right to make it as difficult as possible for the people to go out and exercise our right to vote. It was cheeky. In fact, I would say, Minta dosa lagi sekali, Tan Sri, bad faith. That was done in bad faith. Because you are supposed to, as an election commission, make it as easy as possible, not as difficult as possible. And I can tell you, I've been getting reports about postal votes. And do you know, our overseas voters are up in arms because they have all been deprived of a right to vote. Their ballot papers are arriving, many of them, on the 8th of May. How are they supposed to get it to, back to Malaysia on the 9th of May? But they have organized runners. If anyone has got family overseas who have this problem, please tell them to contact Global Bursi. They're having runners who are going to collect the ballots and who are going to bring them back to Malaysia. But that's, that's us, isn't it? That's Malaysians. They fix uh, voting middle of the week. What happens? We have a new movement called Balik Mengundi or Balik Pulang Mengundi Pulang Mengundi or Undi Rabu collecting money so that people who can't travel or can't uh, have, have difficulty traveling can come back we are helping our fellow Malaysians while our EC is making it as difficult as possible for us luckily we have each other we're not just up against uh, another party running in the elections. We are up against the might of the election commission. But we can still do it. Because we've done it before. We've done it before. We did it. We did it in the 13th general elections. Despite all the cheating. Despite all the cheating. 2008. 2008. Barisan Nasional hilang apa? Dua per tiga majority dalam parlimen. Betul tak? Dua ribu tiga belas Barisan Nasional telah hilang popular vote. You've heard this before. 2018 saudara-saudari dua ribu lapan belas kita mesti memastikan bahawa Barisan Nasional akan hilang kuasa di Putrajaya. That is our mission. That is our mission. And we must remember, Saudara Saudari. Oh, by the way, did you, were you all bust here? Because that seems to be the suggestion. Anyone was bust here? No, isn't it? Yes. Just checking. Just checking to make sure that whether that was fake news, okay? <laughs> Clearly fake news. So, what we need to do, what we need to do, and I'm telling you, it is happening on the ground. We are not alone. The numbers of people who are on the move for the country is huge. Look at what's happening in Sabah. Kanda can't underestimate what's happening in Sabah. Shafi Abdal is doing a marvellous job there and his party, Warisan. Now what we have is a wave. A wave by the people. And we must ride that wave together. 
the wave of change. Ladies and gentlemen, it's coming. And we are all going to ride that wave together. And as you were advised, go out early. Because you don't know what our EC is capable of huh, on that day. <laughs> all sorts of things will, are likely to happen. The pacha have been warned, people have been trained. Magic, EC can, can make magic. Uh, you, you, think, you think David Copperfield is a great magician. <laughs> David Copperfield, DC, yeah? we got EC. <laughs> Our EC can win the top prize for magic, let me tell you. At a sleight of hand, they can do anything. So be very careful. On that day, go early so that there's no issue. We have voters, by the way, who didn't even register to vote who find their names on the electoral roll. If you know anyone like that, my advice to them, go early and vote. Make sure no one else can vote under your name. That's what we have to do. Now, we are sick and tired of the arrogance of Barisan National. I am, I'm sure all of you are. That's all we have been facing. And we all have come to a point where we think that is going to be what our life is. That's what our life is going to be from now on. But Pakatan Rakyat has shown us it doesn't have to be that way. They've shown it to us in Penang. They've shown it to us in Selangor. I can tell you, and I keep saying this, you may have heard this joke before, but I've been, I've been saying it all along. When you go to Parliament and you watch the Prabahasana in, the, in Parliament, it is evident that the IQ levels on one side of the aisle are much higher than the other. <laughs> much higher. And with Hannah in there, wow, it's going to shoot, okay? It's going to go really high. And that's what we want. We want responsible, smart, caring MPs. And that's what we need to look forward to. And I think, you know, and when I say ride the wave, I'm not kidding. There is a wave. There is a wave. And I truly believe that this is our moment. This is our moment. And we are all, all of us, going to make history on the 9th of May. We're making history now. We're making history now. I want to end with something Gandhi said. He said, first, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. Then you win. Then you win. Then you win. Then we win, ladies and gentlemen. Then we win. Kita menang. Kita menang. Kita musti? No. Kita musti? No. Kita musti? No. Hero Bursi. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.